Restoring Courage. It is the companion to Restoring Honor that we did in Washington, D.C. a year ago this August, 828. When I decided um, a couple of months ago to do um, Restoring Courage, we have been calling this Project 829 um, because we were going to do it on the 29th of um, August. We are not doing it on the 29th. I am not doing it on the 28th either because that is the Sabbath. That is Sunday. And I don't want to make this um, break anybody's Sabbath. And I also don't want to make this about anyone's religion. We don't have it on Friday, not having it on Saturday, and not having it on a Sunday. When I went over to Israel last week, to tell you the truth, I got on the plane out of obedience. Um, this has been in my head now for how many months? And I have fought it, quite honestly, because I know we're working on another project and I know what kind of time this is. And I also knew um, what this could uh, mean. Um, and I'm tired of being in the center of a storm, quite honestly, no matter what the press might tell you. Um, but I got on the plane out of obedience and I said to the guys when we were in the airport, this just may be an, an Abraham kind of thing. You know, hey, hey, Glenn, you just want, you want to put everything up on that stack of sticks over there, okay? To see if I would do it. And I was really hoping when I was over there. When we were over and we were looking at locations, uh, I had my security detail with me to give us um, an idea of what where the most secure place would be. I had a political advisor over there, what's going to be politically the least offensive. I had a couple of spiritual advisors uh, with me. Um, and I went to place after place. And first we looked at a stadium, and I, we drove by that. And I just said, keep driving. Not, no, no. Um... We looked at several places, and I knew it had to be in Jerusalem. And isn't it interesting that this week, the president divides Jerusalem. I was outside of the city wall uh, on the second day that I was there, and I was in a place called, what is it, Sultan's Pools? Sultan's, yeah, Sultan's Pools. And I was in Sultan's Pool, and I looked at uh, Joe my uh, chief of staff, and David Barton, who was there. And uh, they said, what are you thinking? And I said, this isn't it. And so, in fact, I feel hostile to this. And we prayed. And then David said, what are you feeling? And I said, all I can hear in my head is take off your sandals. This is sacred ground. And that's when I knew. When I said it, that's when I knew. I said, get everybody in the vans. And we had these two big, huge vans. And we got in. And I said um, to the driver, take me back to the Western Wall and the Temple Mount. Somebody in the car said, you, you, we, 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 can't, we, we can't do it. And I said, just please. We went back, and there's this road that kind of looks, uh, you can drive up, and you can overlook and see. And I think some of the pictures of that are at glenbeck.com. And I'm looking at the southern wall of the Temple Mount. It's called the uh, Southern, let me see if I have this right, Southern Wall Excavation Site. It is on the west, the western wall right there at the corner of the western and the southern wall of the Temple Mount, at the western side of that corner, is where Jesus turned the tables over, the literal place where he turned the tables over. On the southern wall are the steps that went into the Temple Mount. The steps are, they were used by Solomon, and that's where Jesus most likely taught at the Temple. When they went and said, where is he? It's most likely where they found him were on those steps. That that 
That is the site. On August 24th, I ask you to meet me there. Inside the walls of old Jerusalem, at those stairs, at that site. Now, I'm not going to get into um, what exactly this event will be like, but if you were at 828 in August, I will tell you that my gut tells me it is restoring honor and that feeling that you had times a thousand. Because of security on that site, there will only be um, 600 tickets. I believe there are 1,600 tickets worldwide that will be available to actually stand on that site. There are only 600 tickets for the United States that we have allocated. You can go and you can stand up on the streets. You can be, you know, on the Western Wall. You can be in all that area. But because this is such a sacred site, there will be, we are positioning, I believe, one Jumbotron in that area. And it will be, so if you are looking down at it, we will show you a picture of it at glenbeck.com. I'm sure they put the picture there. But where I was standing, and you will see I'm pointing to things, um, you can stand there. We believe that that area, um, assuming that all of the streets will be closed, and even Washington, D.C. said they wouldn't close the streets until they saw how many people were coming. But if we believe, we believe that those streets are closed, there may be about 15,000 people that can fit in that one area. We have permits and waivers and everything that we can possibly get. We have rented uh, or held almost every venue in the old city or the space in the old city. And I said to the mayor of Jerusalem that I want to make this almost plug and play that if we start to get indications that more people, because I don't know how many people will come. I just know I will be there. And so as we get indication on how many people will come from around the world or even how many people will come from Israel, we will then continue to add the locations. Now, the week leading up, I can't give you any of the details of this yet, but we have... Um, two other events that are going to be happening that week. One of them is going to be on Sunday the 21st. The, the, I believe the first event is Sunday the 21st. And that is going to be a very spiritual and religious event. I believe, Joe, that we're making that a Christian event, are we not? I mean, other faiths will be there, but... It is a Christian event. This I am not asking you to make this into an um, ecumenical event where we're saying, hey, bring all of our religions together and let's let's make one big religion. I've read the end of the book. I know I know that's not a good idea. What I'm asking you to do is stand with each other. We have our theological differences, but stand with each other. So um on Sunday, that will be an event that will be, um, and all of these events will be broadcast, and we will tell you how and where in the coming weeks. Um, but we will broadcast that event, which is from an 
unbelievable location itself, yet to be named. And we also will explain exactly who's going to be at that uh, event and what that event will be. But we're making that available on that day worldwide. So churches, hopefully, because it will be a Sunday night in Jerusalem, which is, what, 11 or 12 noon? I think it's I think it's 11 a.m. Eastern time. Um, and we're hoping that people will either watch that after church or at church. We'll make it available for anybody that will want that um, to gear you up um, for this event. The next event, it's a it's the trilogy. The next event, I can't announce yet, but I will tell you that um, I told Stu and Pat about, about it this morning. And I believe this one will be, all three of them are going to be unbelievably powerful, but I believe this one, um, and I can only pull this off if, if these things sell, because I already don't know how I'm paying for these. Um, but uh, the next event... will be that event alone will be one of the most powerful events that you've ever seen or witnessed. And then on August 24th, restoring courage at the Temple Mount at the Southern Wall. Pictures of the site and all of the information is in one place. You can find it at glenbeck.com slash Israel. Now, you can go there on your own, but these are, because of security, these are ticketed events. The 824 event is only ticketed for the Southern Excavation Site. You can be around that. It's like going to Washington and saying, you can only be at the Lincoln Memorial um, if you have a ticket. But you can be, you know, next to a tree or under a tree, you know, and still witness or be a part of the event. And there will be jumbotrons. Um, but because of the sacredness of that site, you must have a ticket, and there is only one way to get it. You can go to glenbeck.com slash Israel, and we are, in this country, we are selling them with packages, and what the packages will include, and there's two different, um, there's two different groups that we have uh, selected. They're independent. They are not affiliated with me. I'm not endorsing either one of these groups. I'm not saying that, you know, uh, I've laid out these, um, um, you know, packages, what they do. I know the people involved in these. um, And I don't know what they've done on the rest of the tour. Some of them are think, isn't one taking you to the Sea of Galilee and doing that? I haven't been on their tours. That's what I'm trying to say. I haven't been on their tours. I hear these guys are very good. But there's two separate places you can buy them. Are both going to be up by the end of the show? One is already up now. Um, And what they are is we've selected these two tour operators. And they've come up with their own hotels and airfare packages and everything else. And there's two packages to choose from. There is the, I want to go to the Restoring Honor event, but I I can't do the I, don't, I, I can't do the um, southern excavation ticket, um, and, but I want to be there, and I also want to have the other two events. You can do that. The other is the premium package that would get you one of the six hundred tickets available here in America, um, and that event um, will also that ticket will also get you into the other two. This is all airfare. This is uh, all food. This is all hotels. I said to the guys, I want to be able to tell my audience, this is the price. Leave your wallet at home. I don't recommend that because you'll have a problem of getting on the airplane. But leave your wallet at home. This is the price. Find out all the information now at glenbeck.com Israel.
again, August 24th, at the Temple Mount, at the Southern Wall Excavation Site, the events for Restoring Courage will begin Sunday, August 21st, and run through August 24th. It will be broadcast here in America and all throughout the world. We will have other ways for you to be involved in case you cannot go over to Israel. We'll give you those details beginning on Monday. But if you want to go, do not buy your tickets and be scammed by anyone. There's only two places that have the tickets that will get you into everything. People already are using my image and the name and everything else. I warn you, travel agents, if you are doing that, we will come after you like a pack of wild dogs. Do not scam my audience on this. There's two available, only two, that will give you the deals that we are talking about and the tickets. And you'll find them at glenbeck.com, Israel. I recommend that you buy your tickets today if you want for the Southern Wall Excavation Site. Our sponsor this half hour is FreedomWorks. 